guys, welcome back to Basie Bites. Today I'm making Halim. Um, I'm trying to make things that seem really hard, but I want to show everybody actually how easy they are. Halim is not a 30 minute meal, but it's also not something that takes long. If you have people coming over, um, make the Halim, you can do it. Then you have a big pot of Halim, and you can eat it all night and better the next day. In a pot here, I have some water that I'm getting ready to boil. Here, I just put a cup of oil and I put my meat in. You can use boneless or meat with bone. I only had meat with bone at home, so I'm using that. I, with this, I use the Sean Hending box. Um, this is super easy. I'm gonna show you, you know, anybody can make this. This comes with two packets. It comes with a masala packet that goes in the meat, and then it comes with the dal. So we're gonna do everything together. We're gonna put the masala in the meat. Now, save some masala at the bottom. So I hold a pinch back. I throw everything in there and I hold a pinch and I do that because later on I fry the masala with onions and I do a kind of tarka on the um, on the honey. I'm going to let this brown up and I'm going to put the lentils in here. Holding the side of the packet back so I can like kind of save some. I throw the rest of this masala in there. I'm holding a little bit here again for the tarka later down here that I, I don't put in there. We want the uh, meat to really fry up really well and um, get a great flavor from the masala. And in the, the same time that that's happening, we're going to um, boil the, I'm gonna add the lentil in here, one whole packet from, straight from the Sean box. And here's my meat, mix it around and keep mixing. Okay, if you have meat tenderizer, you know I do. I'll put a tablespoon of, um, a teaspoon of uh, the meat tenderizer. It will help the meat really fast. If you make this in the slow cooker, which I usually don't do, I am a big fan of these old fashioned um, steel pots. I just don't like the newer pots. I only use these nonstick uh, really for the things that, like dal, which this won't make a difference how you know how it comes out because you're gonna end up mixing it in with the gorsh. But for these meals like halim, nehari, biryani, palau, I like to use the steel pots. Anyway, so I'm gonna mix this up. I'm gonna fry this for five minutes. Um, give it a nice brown color and then I'm going to fill this with water to boil and I'm going to let these two things both boil for about an hour. I'm going to fill this up with water. When you're adding water, make sure you add hot water to keep the color of the masala. Cold water changes the temperature uh, of the meat and it changes the color of your food. Um, something my mom taught me. So that's two. I'm not really counting for any measuring purposes. I'm just kind of showing you what I'm putting in there. I'm going to fill this to the top. For time purposes, let's say I started this at 4.55, just in front of you. I fried up the meat for five minutes and I had put the dal in, right? So let's say we started at 4.55. Let's just see how long it takes us. I want you guys to see how easy this is. You can also do it on a weeknight. It's not hard. If you love Halim, it's worth the hour and a half wait. We're doing a time check, guys. It's 5.12. 12. 12 minutes later, meat is boiling away, as is the dal. And we're at 12 minutes in from when I put everything in the pot. One hour, it's exactly six o'clock. I'm gonna take this ghost out of here. Um, you'll see that you see that the water is half evaporated. We're taking the ghost out because we are going to take the meat off the bone. And then we're gonna blend this all together. You're at the home stretch, guys. This last couple of minutes is just putting this together with the dal blending everything together and uh, checking on spice and then we'll do the third class so it's super easy okay guys so as you see i've separated all the meat it's literally falling off the bones uh, i have two big chunks left here so you just pull it apart off the the bone and then we're going to shred it as you can see it's all just coming off so this is all shredded meat i put the gravy on low uh flame as I'm doing this and then the dog is still cooking so we're um, looking pretty good and I'll show you the rest of the steps. Hey guys, what I did is I took the meat out and I shredded that it's sitting separately. Here's the dal that's all done. So in a blender I'm going to take dal and I'm going to put in a little bit of the hindi masala. I'm doing it little by little so that it all blends down and you want to keep tasting it because if you put too much of this masala it will end up very spicy. So I blend and I, as I go, I keep tasting it because I want my children to eat it as well. And I then blend it and I'll show you what we do from there. So that's the blended Halim. Of course, it's not the right color yet. As we blend together, the colors will come together. So I'm gonna just keep going until everything in here is 
a Haleem consistency, a soupy consistency. Okay, so I blended it all together nice and slow. So all the dal blended together like a nice soupy Haleem consistency. And I didn't use all my uh, masala water because that would have been extremely spicy. You, I used about um, half that water. I kept putting it in and kept tasting it, making sure that it wasn't too salty and it wasn't too spicy. And you want to get the color to a uh, a light brown color. And then when we do the third on top, that's going to add some more color and flavor. Okay, I'm going to now heat up some oil for the tarka, just like I did with my nihari. You put in a little bit of oil. I'm using the Shazada crispy fried onion packet. Not all of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some onions in this hot oil. It's still warming up, but I'm just going to dump the onions in. There's a lot of oil, but this is for tarka and a lot of onion. Put that in there. Let that fry up and get crispy. Okay, it's starting to sizzle. And as it fries, I'm going to add in the rest of my honey packet. I had a little bit left. Just gonna dump it in there. I added the whole packet and I'm gonna fry it. Um, this is gonna be a great brown tarka on top of the harim. Make sure you don't burn the piaz. Keep a watch on it. Okay, let that fry up. Now, you remember that I shredded up a bunch of meat, kept it in big chunks because that's the way we like it. You're gonna put that in your harim at that point, at this point. Put that all in there. Let that cook well and warm up, okay? Some people don't like chunks and they like the shreds. Um, it really depends on what you're looking for and what you like. As this cooks, it will kind of break down a little bit, but right now it's in very small bite-sized pieces. Here's my tarka. It's okay, so you're gonna put that on top. It is absolutely delish. I'm gonna cover it for a few minutes and I'm gonna plate it. On a high flame for a few minutes. That is the end product. I'm gonna plate it for you now and show you how to put this together. Okay, then we garnish it with some more fried onions, some coriander, and squeeze some lemon on top. And there you guys have it. A really yummy meal for a cold night.